Hi everyone, I'm Rockin' Robin and today I'm going to show you my chicken and rice casserole. Now this is a one pot dish and, and we're going to be using lots of fresh ingredients, fresh herbs, and I've got my homemade cream of mushroom soup that I'm going to be using. So when you serve this to your family, you feel good about what you're feeding them. Now it's also easy to make and it's delicious. So let's go over our ingredients so we can get started with our recipe. All right, I've got here six chicken thighs. These are boneless and skinless, but you could certainly use chicken breast or any, any cut that you like. We'll need some long grain white rice. I have low sodium chicken broth. You can use uh, the, the regular full sodium if you like. I've got a little bit of milk here. And now this in this jar here is my homemade cream of mushroom soup. So I'll leave a link in the description below for you. You can get that and you can make that all right, we'll need some salt. I have some garlic powder. This is onion powder. And here I have my fresh herbs. This is rosemary, parsley, and basil. Now I'm not gonna cut the basil yet because when you do cut up basil early, it will tend to turn black on you. So we're gonna do that at the last minute. And we'll need some onion flakes. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is we're gonna combine our rice in our casserole dish. And we're gonna add all of our, well, pretty much most of our ingredients. So I add the chicken broth and the cream of mushroom soup. I'm gonna add the milk. This is the garlic powder. The onion powder. I'm gonna add the rosemary. Now if you're using dried rosemary and herbs, just use about a teaspoon of each one. This is the parsley and the salt. And now I'm going to go ahead and chop up the basil and add that. Remember like I said, if you add the basil or you chop it up too soon and it sits, it'll just turn black. It just oxidizes too quickly. So I'm going to add about three leaves, layer them on top of each other, and then I'm going to roll them up. I like to use this technique, it's called chiffonade, and you roll it up nice and tight, and then you just cut very thin little strips, and then I'm going to cut it again so the pieces are a little bit smaller, just like that. And boy is that fragrant, you can really smell it. Okay, so we'll just sprinkle some of that in there, and that should do it. Now, the last thing I want to do is I'm going to put most of the onion flakes in with the rice. I'm going to leave a few for on top of the chicken. Okay. And then we're going to stir everything up. You want to get everything nicely combined. And then we're going to add our chicken to this. So I'm just going to lay the chicken right on top. And I'm going to season it with a little bit of salt, just a little bit and some pepper. And then we'll sprinkle just a little bit of that onion, those onion flakes on top, just a little bit. And then I'm going to cover this with foil and we're going to pop it in the oven. We've been preheating our oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit and we're going to check it in about 45 minutes. So in we go. So I checked the chicken at 45 minutes and it wasn't done. I took a knife, cut into it, and that's what I want you to do. And it was still pink. So I put it back in for 10 more minutes and now it is done. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and scoop a little bit up. Put some chicken on there. You might wanna stir up your rice. We'll add a little more rice to that. Look at that. The rice looks nice and moist. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little bite for you. I'm going to get some of that rice in there. Mmm. That was really good. It's very moist. And, you know, the mushroom soup really comes through. I really want to encourage you to make that. Make it and uh, 
put it in a jar like this, put it in the refrigerator first, chill it down, and then pop it in your freezer. That way, whenever you need a nice amount for like a recipe like this, you've got it ready whenever you are. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment below in the description and uh, share this with your friends. If you think somebody might enjoy this, share it with them on Facebook. I'd really appreciate that. All right, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. You're gonna love and it's, it, it, uh, uh. <laughs> told you. I'm gonna show you how to make some oven fried chicken. We're gonna season this with some breadcrumbs with some Italian seasonings in that and I'll tell you it's just a little